Welcome to the Best Ever Food Review Show headquarters. Let's do this. Since we can't go out, instead we're bringing you guys in, doing an office tour and kind of an update about how this whole situation around the world is affecting us here at the Best Ever Food Review Show. If you didn't know already, our team is based here in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Now, all around the world, people are being affected by what's going on. And I have to say, out of uh, all the countries I've heard about, Vietnam has done a tremendous job in the way they've handled the virus. They've been very aggressive about doing everything they can do to mitigate and contain the virus. Somebody in the general neighborhood was infected. And so they came here, they tested me about a week ago. No follow-up means you're all good. So I'm virus free for now. Right here, guys, I gotta say, I absolutely love this house. We looked for a long time to find a villa that would really accommodate the whole team being here. It has a lawn, it has bushes. Sometimes I'll just uh, sit out here, take it easy and, and read a book. So uh, yeah, we, we have a, I don't know what this is for. I think if you have jewels or something, you have a security guy sleep in there. There's no air conditioning or anything. There's no bathroom. Or maybe it's a storage room. It looks too nice to be storage, right? Anyways, that's a, there's a little house to go with my big house. It's nice. Uh, this is my grill. Sometimes I'll just open it up. I'll hang out in here, relax, and read a book. Okay, I haven't read a book since the 1950s. I'm gonna be honest. We could try to do some grilling challenges on the second channel. We gotta do something, dude. We're locked down. <sighs> Okay, next. Here is my recent toy. This is the Royal Enfield Himalayan badass adventure bike. Super heavy and not fast, but good on mountains. So as soon as we're free to roam around the country again, I'm gonna take this for a long bike ride. But for now, we're on lockdown. And here's the pool. It's not the best pool though. Look, a leaf. Ew. I hesitated a long time to do a, a office tour because I don't want people to be like, oh, what? You spend money on a nice office? I don't know. Eh. Anyways, back here, an original art piece by my friend Adam Palmetter. You might know him as the food bro. Here's a clip of him. It's very spicy. Uh, actually, very, but what are you doing? What are you doing? We're shooting a food review show. We're shooting a food review. Adam travels the world doing amazing art like this. This was just a crappy white wall before, but look at it now, it looks awesome. Thank you, Adam Palmetter. Here's his link, and you can check out more of his art on his Instagram page. So that's the pool. Maybe at the end of the video, I'll just jump in with all my clothes on. Wouldn't that be crazy? Uh... On a more serious note, I'm super grateful to be in a place like this right now. Oh, that's heavier than it seems like that. What could I do that's lighter? Ah, here we go. On a more serious note, for sure, I'm super grateful to be here during a time like this. As you guys know, all the gyms are closing. Fortunately, over the last six months, I've accumulated all this stuff here and there, and so I can still keep my sanity. I can still work out. I can still um, burn off all the booze that I'm drinking because I feel aimless sometimes. You know what? I don't want to be like egotistical, but I think since you guys are here, we should um, do a little workout demonstration. a new record. This one is a new toy. This is called a, an assault bike and it is vicious. It can just take the life right out of you. Anyways, right now, the lockdown has been in effect in Vietnam for just a couple days. Already last week, we'd sent pretty much the whole team to work from home. So all of our post-production dudes are at home with their computers working hard being diligent, disciplined, and whipping up the best f***ing entertainment oh, wow. for you guys while you're also on lockdown. So that's basically it for the outside area. Why don't we go inside 
to my favorite place, the kitchen behind me, kind of our den mother. How? She, she doesn't want to look at the camera, a little shy, no worries. So usually she's here every day making lunch for the whole team, we can all eat together. Right now she's cooking up a unique Vietnamese lunch that I'm gonna be trying more towards the end of this video. I can't wait for that. But first, a refrigerator tour. Huh? We're getting crazy. Usually there's not much in this refrigerator, but I thought I was gonna be quarantined twice in the last week, so I bought like half a grand worth of groceries and mostly alcohol. On the outside, is this interesting anymore? Are you guys still watching? On the outside of the refrigerator, we have magnets from the many different countries we've been to. Japan, India, Miami, the country of Miami, and so on. What's over here? I was panic buying groceries. I was like, I'll freeze hot dogs for protein. More, <laughs> more hot dogs. We got someone's coffee from last week still. Tiger beer, plenty of Coke Zero. Ah, this one, very important. It's happiness in a can. It's, a, it's like a, a dream, a cloud that you can spray into your mouth. Put that away. Okay, one more. Put that away. Bacon, beef, bacon, some kind of meat, Vietnamese chalua, jerky. I love these. These are like little pepperoni balls. Tastes like salty pepperoni. It's awesome. Right now, lunch is underway. The preparation, since we knew we're shooting today, we wanted to do a food that was interesting, but something that we've actually had for lunch before, for real. This is something we've really had for lunch before and something we're having for lunch today. And oh God. <laughs> Don't get it in my eye. When you go to the market, this is actually how they bundle them together. It's kind of like buying a, a six pack of beer or something. They're all just together in one unit. These are gonna get cooked pretty soon. Sorry, fellas. We're gonna put them back in their natural habitat for now, which is the sink. We'll see you at lunchtime. Well, I mean, uh, it's awkward. This is the main room as you walk into the house. Usually, every Monday morning, the whole team would gather here. We had meetings. And then all around, pictures from the history, videos from best ever food review show days of old. That's when we were in Thailand. We mm. have to eat it raw, this one, raw trim. Okay. Tastes delicious, sweet. That's when we were in the Philippines eating woodworms. How would it taste? It tastes like really good. <laughs> This room is not only for meetings though, it also has a secondary purpose when the sun goes down. There's a virus within us all. But that doesn't mean we have to be super sad. Nobody wants to get sick, especially me. Cause I have a big ass pool and an inflatable ball. Let's check out something else. <laughs> Welcome to my office slash our studio. These days, since there's almost nobody here, instead of working upstairs with the team, I just work down here. But when we shoot crazy reaction videos and Q and A's and stuff like that, all that happens right here. Here's where I get lots of stuff done. Good. Right here, this is our game room. It's kind of a work in progress. Let me show you. You know, honestly, it's more fun with more people. There's not a lot of people around these days. I'll, I'll show you another time, but there it is. And this is our operations room. Pretty empty right now. This is like the, uh, it's like the captain's room with the wheel. Mm. Here we have a map. Usually I stand in front of that and ponder, what is next? Where should we go? And right now, uh, we can't go anywhere. A lot of people are asking about the virus, how it is affecting our future travel plans. Honestly, right now we have no idea. If 
the government allows and opens things up. We'll shoot some videos in Vietnam. We will probably start close to home and then maybe later in the year we can go to other places in Southeast Asia like Thailand or Cambodia, something nearby. And then hopefully by the end of the year we could be going to Korea or India or just, you know, anywhere. But I think travel as we know it is going to be a lot different for the next year or two. This is our, this was our post-production studio. Of course now everyone's taken all their stuff, packed it all up, and they're all working from home. So it's just me and this one dick that I work with, but I'll just keep it down. I'm just telling you this guy's a serious penis. What a cock. Right now we're in the kitchen seasoning the frog. We have some turmeric curry powder, minced lemongrass, minced onion, right here some chili, chicken bouillon, and this is some sugar. All right, and then so you take all the frog legs, you mix them about, and you get them just slathered with that seasoning. Also, please don't think that I'm cooking this or I have any idea what's going on here. It's all our den mother, and I'm just mixing it up so we have a nice visual. She doesn't want to be on camera. So here for the frog, we've got oil. We put in a bit of minced garlic and other fun stuff. She puts in a little bit of lemongrass, and some coconut milk. Oh, this looks fantastic. A little bit of MSG and even more chicken stock. Next, going in with the onion, then some wood ear mushrooms. Put in a couple hot chilies. Finally, a mix of fresh herbs. That looks good. Today, we're not only having frog, we're also having another local classic, a favorite of mine. These are chicken feet. They have just recently been battered with a bunch of flour and put into oil. These chicken feet are gonna fry for about five minutes and then that's gonna be part of our lunch. Now she's putting in a mixture of fish sauce, there's some pepper in there and sugar too. Finally, the feet will rejoin the sauce. Oh, look at that. And then just get completely smothered and saturated saturated in that sticky sauce. What a magnificent lunch. What you see here is a pretty traditional Vietnamese lunch, as far as I know. For sure, we've got rice, the chicken feet that you saw getting cooked, and then, of course, the frog legs. Usually, we're eating like chicken and pork and beef, but today, for you guys, I wanted to have some uh, frog. Isn't that fun? I'm gonna start with these chicken feet. Oh, it's so sticky and sweet. Almost like a teriyaki glaze, except it smells like pungent fish sauce. Oh, I'm gonna break it open. The pad of the foot with a bunch of cartilage in there, sticky skin, and just kind of fatty fat. My God, this tastes delicious. So we got some ankles in here too. Look at that, that's an ankle. That's way better than the foot part. I've never had an ankle before. It's so good. It's not meaty. It's just pure crispiness and sweet sauce glaze. I'm moving right into this frog. Oh, look at that leg. You see like a hip, quadricep, a kneecap, patella, and a calf muscle. Yeah, I'm gonna put the cream onto the rice. Rich coconut cream. Let's try it out. Oh, that's fantastic. Creamy, coconutty. You can taste the turmeric and curry powder in there. My favorite part is how much chicken seasoning she put in there. I didn't know that was a thing. You could tell this frog worked out for sure. These are very developed quadriceps. Maybe it took steroids too. I mean, it has like a more delicate texture than chicken, but it does have that clean white meat taste that you get from chicken. So it usually gets conflated or compared to chicken oftentimes. Here, I think this is a frog bicep. We're gonna dip that in the sauce. Oh yeah. Oh, so delicious. The last move is some of this rice has just soaked up that creamy goodness. Oh yeah, look at that rice with the coconut cream on top. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. I totally recommend frog. If you've never had frog, but you want to try some new and different foods, maybe uh, be a bit more adventurous, I highly recommend trying out frog. I'm not going to try everything here right now on camera, but I just want to show you a kind of a pretty normal lunch we might have here in the office. And I want to know from you guys if we did more cooking in the office, maybe even like food delivery and eating that. Is that something you'd want to see? We don't know what to do. It's tough. We're a travel show and we can't travel. Let me know in the comments down below. And don't feel bad because uh, the frogs you saw earlier, this isn't those frogs. Come with me. I'll show you. Don't come with me. Sit down. We'll cut. <laughs> <laughs> right here, we have a surprise. That's right. We didn't really kill the frogs. I mean, some frogs died, but I, don't, I didn't know those frogs, so I don't really care about those frogs. These frogs, I'm going to let go in my backyard. This is probably a bad idea. I'm told that they're actually raised uh, in a farm, so <laughs> they're going to have no idea what to do. The time has come. Be free! 
That's, you just, that's how far you ran away? This one's in a pot still. Why are you not running away more? Guys, that's my little house tour slash update slash I included food because it's a food channel. I hope wherever you are, you are doing well. Of course, I feel super fortunate that everybody in my team is home, healthy, safe, and I hope you and your family and your friends can do the same. I think the best thing we can do right now is just go day by day and focus on what we can control. If you're in a fortunate position, please find a way to help somebody, support somebody close to you. Uh, it's gonna be a lot easier for everybody to get through this in the end. I hope that in the future, we can continue to make interesting, unique travel content that keeps you guys coming back. So for now, this is Sunny from my backyard with a bunch of frogs around me who don't know what to do, saying goodbye and a peace. Hey guys, how's it going with that quarantine? More like quarantine, am I right? Mm. If you're anything like me, you're probably stuffing yourself twice a day. Listen, we're gonna get through this. I'm not talking about the apocalypse, I don't know anything about that. I'm talking about this constant stomach stretching that we keep doing, but if we move forward, if we persevere, at the end of the day, we can call ourselves food coma survivors. Buy the shirt. And we're donating 25% of the profits from this campaign to Feed America's COVID-19 response fund. They are assisting food banks and helping people across America who are in need. So it's a cool shirt. It's a great cause. Thank you guys for the support. And be sure to check out our second channel, More Best Ever Food Review Show, for raw clips and deleted scenes that didn't make it into the show.